On an average weekday, over 150,000 people ride the Canada Line. For most, a major earthquake hitting at the same time is probably not top of mind. Little did these riders know, a series of simulated earthquakes have been taking place under their feet. Major earthquake. Mainline, please perform a system hold. This is the Canada Line Control Centre, where a very important test is taking place. Attention all staff, early earthquake warning. All fair gates open emergency mode. Once yeah. done, start disabling elevators. Okay, hey, everybody under your desk. And remain calm. And the first thing that we would do is get those trains uh, to stop as close as possible to a station. Uh, and depending upon where they are, um, you know, and how much time we have, that may be very possible. Uh, why at a station? That's the safest place for those trains to be. All of this is part of a collaboration with Ocean Networks Canada, the research group from the University of Victoria that was awarded $5 million almost three years ago to develop an earthquake early warning system for southwestern British Columbia. Since then, the group has installed eight seismic sensors right along the ocean fault line floor and 32 land-based seismic and GPS sensors on Vancouver Island. And they've created a system that will estimate how powerful an earthquake is and issue a warning to a network of alarms across BC, indicating how much time before the damaging waves hit. Here's how the earthquake early warning system works. When the big one hits, that's the magnitude 9.0 mega thrust earthquake that will occur along the Cascadia subduction zone off the coast of Vancouver Island, Ocean Network Canada's sensors will pick up those earthquake waves of energy at the moment they're triggered. Those sensors will then send a warning to the rest of the south coast that will give them up to 90 seconds before the damaging waves arrive. And seismologists agree, early warning saves lives. It's been proven in quake-prone countries like Japan, where the infrastructure has been in place for over a decade. Even giving people a few seconds to drop, cover and hold on is crucial, considering most deaths and injuries are caused by falling objects. You know, I've done a lot of things in my career, um, you know, from getting the first paleoclimate record out of the Arctic Ocean. But for me, this is one of the most meaningful products that we could deliver for scientifically because it really directly saves people's lives and will save our infrastructure. And that's why this project is so complex. Different groups have been working for years on earthquake early warning systems in our province, the government, private sector, universities, not to mention our neighbours across the border who share fault lines. Ocean Networks Canada's job will be to continue to bring all these groups together as part of one cohesive network. On March 31st, 2019, Ocean Networks Canada says the system will be installed, tested and delivered to Emergency Management BC ready for other major infrastructure and eventually every individual to get that early warning and figure out what they need to do with those few precious seconds. When the earthquake hits British Columbia, I really hope that people will have had a heads up warning, even a few seconds to be able to take action. And, and it will still be devastating for British Columbia. But if earthquake early warning can help save even a single life, uh, prevent some damage, it's been well worth it. So a massive effort, Johanna. What is needed in order for this system to be fully ruled out and for you and I, everyone else, to get this warning as an alert on our cell phones? Well, Dan, I think we're just uh, one to two years away from actually getting that alert as part of the National Alert Ready System that just rolled out in the spring. So very soon, we will get that text message that says how many seconds you have before the damaging waves arrive. But a couple of things need to happen. First of all, right now, the system only warns for the big mega thrust earthquakes, the big one that will happen on the ocean floor. We need to connect those sensors to the existing sensors on land that'll pick up the first waves from the shallower, smaller, but much closer to Vancouver earthquakes. Those are our crustal earthquakes, and those can be just as damaging as the big one for places like Vancouver. So those two systems need to come together. Ocean Networks Canada continues to need to test it. They say they need another year for that, as well as to continue to hook it up to major uh, infrastructure. But after that, Dan, again, uh, the estimation is within a couple of years, which is uh, very exciting.